Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome, my name is Hannah. If you are new to the channel, please do consider liking and subscribing. I love all things Disney, Star Wars, Loungefly, Harry Potter. Now I'm doing a Loungefly unboxing and I know what's in them, but I'm not sure which one is which. So we'll start. Now it's either Ariel or a sequin. Um, but I don't know which one's which. I took the labels off without seeing where they came from. So... I mean, I hope I've got the right ones anyway. This will be a very interesting unboxing otherwise. Because if you're watching this, then it went well and it is the ones I was expecting. <laughs> okay, okay. This one, what is this one? Rainbow. We will start with a rainbow. So that's the packing slip. Excuse the noise. I'm going to get it out of the packaging to start with. On that there. Excuse the noise. Ooh, I'm gonna get this bit off the ears. Oh, I'm already kind of worried to touch it Ooh, because it's a white one with sequins on. Now I do worry potentially it might get dirty easily. And I'm not sure what actually if you've got any hints or tips, if I did wear this and get it dirty. What's the best way to clean these backpacks? Because I'd be a bit worried to try anything just in case. So the majority of the backpack is white. Like if I do a 360, the base colour is just plain white. And then all the accents are rainbow. Actually, the zip as well. If I hold that really close, the zip actually has rainbow in there. That's like a really nice touch. Oh, and on the side, rainbow in the zip. And I've just seen rainbow on the tag this one is there a price there is not i think this was about 74.99 the ones with sequins tend to retail for more than the other ones i think the aerial one was 69.99 or even 64.99 so when they have sequins they and ears as well they do tend to be a bit more expensive and then the rest is just rainbow sequins so we've got that on the pocket a cute little bow and on the ears a couple little fly away oh no that's just from the foam little stringy bits it's not too bad just the odd little bit of string which i don't mind a bit of string okay let's sparkle another one for the sequin collection packed very substantially so we'll open her up excuse the noise in a pocket. In a pocket. Oh dear. A lot of packaging. I'm just going to leave that bomb bit in there. That's very solid. So the inside again is just like that lovely rainbow stripe. And you can see there is a black pocket. Now that will be the same lining as the front pocket as well. Which has a little bit of padding in there. Ooh. I am slightly scared to touch it though. But it is beautiful, really, really beautiful. Um, okay, pop that on the desk. Grab this box and move you there. Lovely. So by process of elimination, this is Ariel. And it's the third in the Castle series of backpacks. So first there was Cinderella. Then the next one was Jasmine. And now we have Ariel. This one I got from Truffle Shuffle. Because Truffle Shuffle don't do pre-orders like some others. This was a pre-order that I got, I think I want to say in June, maybe. Truffle Shuffle don't do pre-orders. They just kind of sell the stock as they get it. So I just bought this one direct from them when they had it in stock. Excuse. Um, oh, oh, oh. Nope. Sometimes the tape rips. Sometimes it needs a bit of assistance. Ooh. Ooh. She feels a little bit odd. Not in a bad way though, I've got to say. Oh, goodness me. 
she's my favourite in the Castle series, I think. It was the Cinderella one, and I was a smidge underwhelmed by the Jasmine one. I'll link that video somewhere up here. Um, all the colours. My favourite colour is purple, and I figured I would wear purple today. Today we wear purple. It's so pretty. I hope you can see it in the light as well. If I kind of move it side to side, some of the accents actually shimmer. Which is quite nice. Oh, a little scuttle at the top. Oh, these... Calm down, Hannah. So Sebastian and the castle are kind of on top of. And then these parts are actually sewn in. So if I hold that a bit closer. And then this bit. It's not velvet. I want to say like suede. And the straps, actually. I want to say it's like a suede. So you don't want to get that wet. So if it's raining outside... Mm -mm. I know it's Little Mermaid, but mm -mm, I would not take this one outside. Obviously, you can do whatever you want to. I wouldn't take it outside. Because it feels similar to, like, Ugg boot material. And they look... They don't look very good when they get wet. I've got a pair downstairs that got absolutely rained on the once. And they've never looked the same since. So they're, like, scrubbly shoes now. What's on the bottom? Just that lovely on the bottom again. I feel like this would scratch quite easily as well. So, but I do love this backpack. It's so pretty. And then the sides have got just lovely under the sea, under the sea vibes. Under the sea. No, don't start singing. We don't want to break any windows. Price, I think, $64.99-ish. And then the back, I mean, the back of this could be its own lounge flight. It's that beautiful. It's Ariel and Eric at the end when she was human. Oh, I love it. The colours on this, like they're vibrant at the same time as not being in your face. I hope that makes sense. And I haven't just made a fool of myself. So that's the back. And then the front has like a... See, this this front pocket is obvious and in your face. This one is kind of hidden just under that. Well, not really hidden, but not as obvious. So we'll open her up. Open her up. Ooh, we have it in a pocket oh i love this bag <gasps> there's a bit left in there but it's packed all the way to the bottom so the inner lining looks like flounder and sebastian and that lovely beautiful be 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 beautiful purple color is what i was trying to say no tongue tied and that pocket at the back we love an inner pocket <laughs> So if you've noticed in the background, I have my shell, well, shelves, bookcase units up. Now, as soon as this video ends, I am going to get all my lounge fly in the room and try to sort and stack them all. And I've got all my units up and ready. So keep an eye out next week for that video. I would guesstimate I've got at least 70 lounge fly backpacks, which when I say it out loud makes me think, oh. um, so I'm, I might need to do a little purge. This one is staying with me though. She's beautiful. I do, I do put the packaging back in them as well because they squish quite easily. Um, so yeah, after this video, I'm going to try and work that out. So keep an eye out for next week's video when I'm going to show my entire Loungefly collection. Um, the last video I did like that was, was that back in May? Before we moved house and I showcased the sequin Loungefly that I had. This time it will be the entire collection. I don't even know if I've got room for everything. I'm guessing I can probably get three bags per shelf that I've got. And I've got how many? One, two, three, four, five six shelf spaces so and then i'll have room on top i don't know if i have enough room for all of them i might need to do like a little mini purge so keep an eye out for that video thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye